towards the bullseye, or as I like to call it, have I got moves for you? <laughs> Come on. All right, then. Not mine, it's one of Tony Green's. Hiya, Dad. How are you? Tell you what I meant to ask you. Yeah? How's your digs? How's my digs? Yeah. Awful. Vinegar Vera's on Cookstall Road. Nightmare. Half board? I'm not very interested, to be honest with you, Tony. Oh, I had to send out for another Bible. <laughs> I've seen she's got his sign on the wall. Get it. Sign on the wall, it says. Be in bed before I am. Well, do you mean be in bed before 1am? <laughs> it could be that, couldn't it? It's no wonder she threw me out. I'm you going. go over there, I'll meet the contestants. See ya. <laughs> Oh, we've got best friends and workmates from London. That's Graham and Becky. Nice Hello. to see you. How are you? You're right. Yeah, not bad. Good. And uh, let's have a look at hobbies first. Graham, drinking. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a hobby? Well, yeah, occasionally. Yeah. I think you'll find it's a biological function, mate. <laughs> and you've got to drink, haven't you? I'm going to stay in tonight. Twelve cups of water. I'm just going to drink them. That's my hobby. <laughs> there you go. And Becky, very. Because I want to answer this story. I've got. You've got to hear this story. <laughs> um, your hobbies. Uh, drinking. Drinking. As well, yes. And shopping. Yes, that's for a great drink. hobby as well. Yeah. <laughs> Shopping for drink. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> yeah, okay. And uh, it says here, uh, Becky's favourite programme as a kid was Bullseye. She's desperate some prizes because she's skint. Yeah. Stop shopping then. <laughs> with no money. <laughs> what do you do for a living, both of you? Uh, we do sort of sound effects for internet sites and things. Like computer sound effects. Yeah. Yeah. That's a great job, isn't it? Yeah. And uh, so, yeah. what is the most unusual job, bearing in mind I know, uh, that you've had <laughs> to do? Well, we did have to do a uh, thing for a sex site once. A which, sex site? Which we won't name. No. And uh, it had... Just a minute. Sound effects for a sex <laughs> site. Yeah. <laughs> what, did you find, what did you find made the best sound effects for um, what you were looking for? What sort of squash bananas were quite... Um, squash bananas? Quite Hang on a minute. <laughs> we spent a long time trying to find out different effects and found that ripe fruit was the best tool. <laughs> <laughs> a squash banana? What others did you eliminate uh, along the way? Well, Swafiga was all right. Swafiga? Yeah. Right, moving on. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Graham and Becky, let's move on to meet our next two. We've got here best mates from Kent, Neil and Ian. That's right. Nice to see you. Welcome to Bullseye. Uh, Neil, office manager. I am. Where's that? It's in Gravesend. Excellent. West Ham fan? Yes, Fraser. No, it's great. They're doing it's well, aren't they? Great Fantastic this year. team. And where did you meet? We actually met on a, We played for op uh, opposing teams in a darts match. Um, I spotted Neil's West Ham dart flights and um, being a Hammers fan myself, right. we got talking. Before we knew it, we were going to football together, playing the same darts team and best mates. That's, so. that's fantastic, isn't it? That's brought you together. Yeah. And your wife's, your wife's is it partners, they go to bingo together. They do. do they? And what do you do while they're... We're the babysitters. Do you? Yeah. It says here you, you spend that time bonding. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> that's what it says on my card. So really... Enjoy yourself tonight. Enjoy Try and relax so and enjoy. OK, moving on. Team number three tonight, Clive and Louise, boyfriend and girlfriend from Chester. Correct. Well done. And uh, your hotel manager? Uh, back at departmental manager. Is that, in, is that in Chester? Yes, it is. What hotel? It's Grosvenor Hotel and Spa. The Grosvenor Hotel and Spa. Do you know, I've always fancied a weekend break there. Hey, I have, you know. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> and you once took her on a romantic weekend to Leicester. <laughs> it's like, Rome, now nah, Paris. I know the place. <laughs> Leicester. Leicester. He's got it all. What happened when you were in Leicester? Tell me this. Um, we'd had a few drinks, uh, gone to sleep at night on the third floor. Mm. I woke up about three hours later and I was in a reception with no clothes on. Right. Um, right. I'd been sleepwalking. And made your way back, though, got wet. Rather sharpish, yeah. Nothing on? No. <laughs> right, Louise, and he came in. Well, yeah, I woke up yeah. to the hearing him knocking on the door, obviously found him naked and yeah. he said wasn't very reception. pleased with him, really. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And you believed his, his story? I did, yeah. Ah, oh, well done. Do you want to buy a timeshare in Lanzarote? <laughs> 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 Clive and Louise, all our contestants, will you give them a round of applause? Let's play Bullseye! Come on. <laughs> it's the category board. Ten categories, each divided into three bonus areas of £30, £50 and £100. The debt player can win the bonus by hitting the category their brains is chosen. If they hit the bullseye, they automatically win a massive £150. <laughs> Correct answers in the first round are worth an additional £30. So let's kick off. Becky, pick a category for Graham, please. World, please. World. OK, Graham, the choice is world. World is yours. Well, that's faces, and the subject's there, Dave. So, you lose out on the bonus, but your question for £30, have a look at your monitor. 
Who's that? No idea. Can offer it. Got a buzzer in there from Ian. Amir Khan. It is Amir Khan for thirty pounds. <laughs> yeah. Ian, choose a category for Neil. Sport, please, Dave. Sport. Sport, Neil. That's sport, and it's thirty pound, Dave. Thirty pounds. Well played. Well for an additional thirty pounds. Which female British athlete won two gold medals in the 2004 Summer Olympic Games? Kelly Holmes. Kelly Holmes, another £30. Going well, going well. <laughs> Louise, pick a category for Clive. Showbiz, please. Showbiz. OK, Clive, showbiz. That's £50. £50 bonus. Your question for 30 Peter Parker is the real name of which comic book superhero? Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Picks up another £30. Well played. <laughs> OK, it's early doors. We're in the lead at the moment. We've got Ian and Neil with £90. Round we go again this time. Questions are worth £50 each, but we've lost faces, sports and showbiz from the board. The ones that are lit are the ones you can hit. OK, Becky, choose a category for Graham. Science, please. Science. It's science, Graham. Well, he went for the bullseye, he's missed science, but he's in history. It's in history. For £50. Florence Nightingale was a nurse during which war? Crimean. Crimea War. £50, well done. <laughs> OK, Ian, pick a category for Neil, please. Um, words, please, Dave. Words. Words. No, it's not in words, it's in Britain. The subject's there, Dave. Still there, so you lose the bonus, but you can pick up the £50. If you can tell me, which politician replaced William Haig as leader of the Conservative Party in 2001? <sighs> was, um... <laughs> I can offer it on the buzzer. Anybody any idea? 2001, succeeded William Haig. No idea. I'll tell you, it was Ian Duncan Smith. Louise, pick a category, please, for Clive. World, please. World. Well, Clive? Yes, that's £50 on World. Well played. £50 bonus. Well For another £50, your question is, who became political leader of Cuba in 1959? Castro. What's Castro? Picks up another £50. <laughs> Still plenty of time, but at the moment, Louise and Clive are in the lead with £180. Round three, the questions are worth £100, but we've only got... Books, words, spelling and science remaining. OK, Becky, pick a category for Graham. Science, please. Science. Come on, just take your time. Oh, dear, that's right out the board. Out the board, I've got to pass okay, on. OK, you never use your science. What then, a shame. You? Strength's all gone. Ian, pick a category. Um, words, please, don't Words. OK, Neil, words. And that's £30 in words. £30 bonus. So, for £100, the word ovine relates to which animal? O V I N E, ovine. Is it a bird? It's not a bird, I can offer it. Becky. Sheep. It is a sheep. £100 bonus, well done. <laughs> Louise is next, pick a category, please. Spelling, please. Spelling. OK, Clive. Spelling. And that's £50 on spelling, Dave. £50 bonus. For £100, the question is ratatouille. <coughs> Ratatouille is a French dish made with tomatoes and courgettes. Can you spell ratatouille? R A T A T O U no E. I don't know. No. Well, you were almost there. Never mind. Okay, I can offer it. Oh. Ian. It's R A T A T O U I. L L E. Let's see if you're right. R A T A T O U I L L E. Correct for hundred pound bonus. Well played. <laughs> so the scores are Becky and Graham with one hundred and fifty pounds. Ian and Neil two hundred and twenty pounds. We're in the lead at the moment. Louise and Clive have two hundred and thirty pounds. <laughs> On to pounds for points. 
The three dirt players compete against each other on a traditional match play dirt board. The player who scores the most points wins a question for their partner. A correct answer wins the cash equivalent of the dirt score. An incorrect answer or pass means I'll offer it to the team with the next highest score. OK? Tony? Right you are, Graham. <clears throat> That's double top, good start. 40. That's 4. And 14, which gives you 58. And Neil, at the present moment, 58 the score to be. 20. 1. And 5, which is 26. 58 is still the score to beat. 20. Treble 20, 60. Another 20. 100! Well done. Excellent. Excellent dirt, Sir Louise, for £100. In military terms, what does SAS stand for? Uh -oh. Have a go, have a go. <laughs> so I can offer it to Becky, who's next high score with £58. Uh, secret Armed Services. Not Secret Armed Services. Ian? Special Air, air Service. It is the Special Air Service. Well done, my friend. You picked up £26. <laughs> Tony? OK, Graham. Round two. That's it. Treble 20, 60. 18. And treble six, which is 18, gives you 96. Very well played. 96, that's the score to beat. One. 20. And nine, which gives you 30. OK, Clive, score is 96. 20. 20. Oh, unlucky, it's just a single 20. We're 96. Graham takes the second round. Oh, Clive. So, Becky, and no pressure here, but if you get this with the 96 pounds, it puts you in the lead. The radius is a bone found in which part of the body? Ear. Not the ear. I can offer it to Clive and Louise for 60. Is it the leg? It's not the leg. Ian can pick it up for 30 pounds. Is it the skull? It's not the skull. The radius is found in the arm, the forearm. Just about there. So nobody picks up the bonus there. It's a shame, that. Could have got the lead. OK, Tony. OK, up we come, Graham. And it's all on this final round, lads. Best of luck. That's 12. 5. Another 12, it gives you 29. 29 is leading. It's 1. 20. And 14, which gives you 35, takes the lead. So, Clive, 35 the score to beat. 20. 20. And 5, which is 45, and takes the final round, Dave. Pressure time. In astrology, which star sign comes between Aquarius and Aries? Pisces. It is Pisces. You've picked up £45. Well done. <laughs> so let's have a look at the scores at the end of Pounds for Points. Becky and Graham, £150. Ian and Neil, £246. But the winners, and going through to Bully's prize board, are Louise and Clive with £275. <laughs> So it's bye for now to Graham and Becky, Neil and Ian. In you come, please. Come on. <laughs> well, of course, you don't go away empty-handed. You've got your bendy bullies, you've got your tankards, you've got your T-shirt and games, plus you've got the money that you won in the first two rounds, which for Becky and Graham was £150 and for Ian and Neil was £246. Still to come, Bullies Prize Board, the Star Prize Gamble and another special guest is going to throw for charity. We'll see you soon.
Welcome back to Bullseye. It's time for the Bronze Bully Round. Our special guest is about to throw nine darts and a chosen charity will receive a cheque to the value of the total scored. If our guest can score 301 or more, then we'll double it. It's as simple as that. Throwing for Louise and Clive is one of Weatherfield's finest knicker stitches and Corrie's ultimate fizz bomb. Of course, please welcome Jenny McAlpine. <laughs> Very excited here. Come on, Jenny. Score as many as possible. That's 11. That's 6. And that's treble Woo! 10. So well done. You've got 47. Hey. Well done. No, You're rushing. I'll get too confident. 12. 15. And 18. That gives you 45. You have a total at the moment of 92, Jenny. Nine. Double ten, which is 20. And treble 18, 54. You've got 83. You've scored 175. Well done, Jenny. 175. Did you ever think you would be on Bullseye? Oh, flipping. Well, you know me. I love anything athletic. Dave. I know. Darts, dominoes, marbles, anything like that. And have you been practising? Oh, yeah, me and Kirky. I've been winning have a you? bit of money off him, <laughs> playing him. And what would the factory girls make of this, <clears> then, this display? I don't know. I hope they'd be pretty proud of me, Janice and the girls. And when they all found out you were coming on, have they helped you? Um, a little bit. They laughed at first. Right. Um, cos I'm not known for me aim. But I've just, um... I've just shot them, haven't I? You've just shot them? £175. <laughs> pounds. These are our winners so far, well Louise done, and Clyde. Guys. This is yeah. Jenny. And tell us where the uh, charity, where the, where the money's going to go to. Um, it's the Stroke Association. Oh, the Stroke brilliant. Association. It's fantastic, isn't it? And you've brilliant. won £175 pounds for them. It's going off after the show. One more time, ladies and gentlemen, the fabulous Jenny McAlpine. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Thank Hello. <you. laughs> <laughs> it's time for Bully's Prize Board. Sleek, smooth and can perform magic with a banana. But that's enough about me. It's a Kenwood smoothie maker. In two. It's an interactive TV poker game from boystuff.co.uk. In three. Want to put up a shelf? Then do it yourself with this powerful Bosch cordless drill. In four. Make sure your slacks don't have any cracks with this Corby trouser press. In five. Enjoy healthier eating with this JML halogen oven. Six. The kids will drive you mad with this little monster. It's a remote control monster truck from nitrotech.co.uk. In seven. You'll never be hurt by horrible carpet dirt with this Vax Rapid Deluxe. In eight. Watch music videos on the go with this two inch iGo MP4 player. And Bully's special prize. Share a crate with your mates. It's a year's supply of lager from Alston Pills. So, nine prizes to win, nine dots to throw. Remember, keep out of the black, stay in the red. Nothing in this game, for two in the bed. Clive, it's you to throw first. OK, Clive, you can take your time now on this. There's no rush. Best to look at the reds. But that's black. That's black. Well, you've done three blacks. Good group you may be good that. at snooker. <laughs> Black. Red, number four. It's only the trouser press. <laughs> <laughs> you really wanted that. And that's red, number eight. Well played, that's the MP4 player. Hey. All You're red, right. please. Yes, red, number six. The remote control monster truck. Oh. You've oh. lost <laughs> you, number you've six. Lost. <laughs> he really didn't want the remote control. <laughs> Monster truck. <laughs> but no, that's black. You've done very well. Thank you. <laughs> well, oh, well done. Cool. Come back, Clive. Come on. Let's have a look what you've won. <laughs> you've won the Corby trouser press and the MP4 player. <laughs> right, you've won £275, two prizes on Bully's prize board, and now it's the moment of truth. What are you going to do? Would you like to gamble all of that 
against the star prize that's hiding behind the dartboard doors. You've got to score 101 or more with six arrows. Whatever happens, the money that Fizz won for charity, that's safe. If you win, you get all the prizes, your winnings and the star prize. But if you lose, well, you've had a good day out, but you're going home and out. You've got the time it takes for the board to revolve to give me your answer. What should they do, do you think? Audience? <laughs> oh, yeah, right, yeah, right, yeah. <laughs> Tough one. Not really, is it? Hard. I've it come for these, it. that's all. It depends on whether you want your money or not, doesn't it, really? That's all. Well, OK, well, it depends whether you want your money or not and you cut out your trouser press. It's tough, to be honest. It's tough, isn't it? I think what we're going to do... Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to gamble. Oh, they're going to yeah. gamble! <laughs> Excellent. It's the non deck player first, so that's you, Louise. Okay. Let's go over nice and relaxed. Take your time, no rush. <laughs> Come on, let's win tonight's star prize. 19, good start. Another 19. And three, which gives you 41. That's a very good start, my love. <laughs> You've played well all night long, Clive. Nice. You go. need just 60 points or more for tonight's star prize. Five. One. Oh. And 20, 26. Well, that gives you 67, Clive, but still, that's Bully's Gamble. Round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Well done, man. Right, I hate doing this bit, but uh, shall we have a look what you would have won? From airlinenetwork.co.uk, it's a seven-night holiday in Barbados. You get return flights and accommodation at the fabulous four-star Amaryllis Beach Resort, where you can relax in the tropical gardens, go for a swim, take a stroll on the beach and enjoy live entertainment, Caribbean style. Well, you risked it, you missed it, but you don't go away empty-handed, obviously. You get your bendy bullies, you get your tankers, you get your T-shirts, you get your games, you get all that. Listen, log on to challenge.co.uk right now and play Bullseye Online and win some fabulous prizes. Join us again soon, and remember, hey, you can't beat a bit of bully. Bye. See you. And well done to these top five arrow-chucking webheads who've made it into our Bullseye Online Hall of Fame.